Hey guys, I wanted to show you some books that I've gotten recently in the mail. I'm going to start out with the first um, book because it is one that I won off of Goodreads. And the more I look at myself on the screen, the worst I look. The worst. I just said worst. The worst I look. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I look like haggard. That's bad. I think it's the medication that the doctors are giving me. Um, yeah, I think it's really getting to me. I look terrible. Okay, I won this off of Goodreads. It's Golden by Jesse Kirby. It says, nothing gold can stay. This is an advanced reader's copy. It's, it's uncorrected. Um, so I did win this off of Goodreads. I don't really even remember what it's about. Um, I know it's 17 year old. Class valedictorian, taking chances, a car accident, I'm not sure. It did come with um, this, and then it says this on the back. And then it did come with a bookmark, so I thought that was really nice. And I believe this book is coming out May 14th. Yes, May 14th is when Golden comes out. All right. The next, um, I did get it used. I don't remember. I think it might be Amazon that I got this off of. It's Storm Glass, which is the first in a series by Maria V. Snyder. And like I said, it is used. I mean, so you can tell it's got some issues going on. It's ripped and all that wonderful stuff. But however, it did come with this nice little recipe card inside of it for a peppery Dijon roast. Yeah. <laughs> so I got the first one. And then I don't know if this is the second one or the third one. I did order all three of them, and I think all three of them are are used, I think. But the other one hasn't came, so I don't know if this is the second the second or third one. I can't talk today either. Um, it's Sea Glass by Maria V. Snyder. So I do have the full series. I just don't have it yet. I'm waiting for them to come. Um, the next is Main Squeeze by Katherine Clark, which is Main Squeeze and Banana Splitsville. I think it's just two different books. Kind of like um, another one that I showed you guys. Uh, I think that might have been last month that I showed you that. Uh, I think this was like a dollar or something maybe. It was like really cheap and that was the reason why I got it. It says two irresistible and hilarious love stories and really cute boys. So it's like one of those little cutesy reads. The next is Born at Midnight. It is a Shadow Falls novel by C.C. Hunter. This is the first one. Um, all I know about this is a girl is sent to a camp. I think it's a camp, not a school. Yes, a camp for troubled kids is what she thought, but it's really not a camp for troubled kids. It's actually for like vampires and werewolves and fairies and witches and shapeshifters. All of them. All of them come together to train at this camp. That's what this is. And I'm excited to read that one. I just think that'll be interesting. The next thing I got is The Poison Eaters and Other Stories by Holly Black. I think this is just a collection of short stories, I believe. Poisonous Girls Whose Kisses Will Kill. I don't know. That's what it says. But I thought it was a collection of short stories. I think that's it. Yeah. The next is Death Cloud. By Andrew Lane, it is a Sherlock Holmes, The Legend Begins novel. It says, two dead bodies, one unforgettable hero. This is the first in, it says, the first teen series endorsed by the Sir Arthur Conan Doyle estate. I don't know. I just know that there are mixed reviews on this. Um, some people said it was more like James Bond than Sherlock. So it must have a lot of action in it. Um... 
I know that he is trying to solve a murder mystery, and it says on the back that it's his first murder mystery. And what's happening is men look like they're dying from the plague, and he's out to find out what's really happening. The next is At the House of the Magician by Mary Hooper. This is a trilogy, I guess. I don't even remember what all this has to do. I just know that there, there was something to do with Queen Elizabeth. Um, and that was the reason why I picked these up. But this is the first one in the series. The second one is By Royal Command. And the third one is The Betrayal. And like I said, it all has to do, like this one says, life as a spy for the Queen of England has its fair share of excitement. So she must be a spy for Queen Elizabeth. All right, the next one is Fearless by um, Francine Pascal. It has Fearless Sam Run. I think it's three stories is actually what it is, I, I think. Yeah, it's like three books in one. Um, I believe Francine Pascal's the one who did Sweet Valley High. I know when I was younger, I absolutely loved and adored those books. Like when I was maybe in elementary school. I'm thinking elementary school, maybe middle school, but I'm thinking elementary school. And I'm pretty sure that's who this is. <laughs> that's pretty sad that I cannot remember. Um, but I just thought this sounded interesting. Somebody else was talking about it on here on YouTube, and so I decided that I would give it a try. There is a second volume that has three more books in it, but what this is is something to do with this girl. Her name is Gaia, maybe? Gaia Moore? I don't know how you say it. Um, she was born without the fear gene, so she's fearless, but she's not stupid. She has common sense. She's just fearless. The next is... Inside, I'm confused. Okay, it's it's called Inside, but it has two novels in one book. It's Inside Out, and the second book is Outside In, and it's by Maria V. Snyder. It says, the laws must be obeyed. Every move is watched. No one is ever alone. And I really don't remember what all this is truly about or even if I really looked into it I just thought it sounded interesting four walls four levels 18,000 people no escape ever it just says to do your job and stay out of the way and don't dream of doing anything better because everybody knows there's no options that's what it's saying on the back so it might be dystopian maybe I'm not sure Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac. This is by Gabrielle Zevin, who is the author of Elsewhere. And this is about a girl who hit her head and has amnesia. So she doesn't really remember stuff about her life. The next one I've been so curious about, and somebody just mentioned it the other day on one of their videos, and I just decided I was just going to get it. But it's all torn up on the spine. I did not see that. I can't remember if I got this used or not. It's The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Sutterfield. But it's kind of torn up right here. And I don't even really honestly know what this one was about anymore. It's been so long. Because when was this written? Because I know that I've had my eye on this for a while. 2006, yeah. I've had this, I had my eye on this for a while. It almost seems like I used to have this book. And then I gave it away. But I'm not sure. I probably did. But I think I had it in hardback when I had it. Because... I've given away my books, I don't know how many times, like, huge amounts of books twice. Um, yeah. The first time when we put, started getting the nursery ready, which was two years ago, and then just recently I gave a bu bunch of books away, so. 
The next one I just happened to see whenever I was looking for something else. And I don't remember what book it was. Um, I just happened to come across this book. And I'll be honest, I don't even know if I've ever even heard of it. I've heard, Now, after seeing it and buying it, I've seen other people talk about it on their... I've seen one person talk about it on their video. It is by Wilkie Collins. It is The Woman in White. I did buy this used. I didn't realize it was a library book, though. As you can tell, it is a library book. And it's it's been well used, obviously, especially since it's, it's from the New York Public Library. That's what it says. But they say that this is like a classic mystery. Um... Like a guy comes across a woman who is dressed all in white near a, a grave site or something. I don't know. It just says it is the first and most influential of the Victorian genre that combined gothic horror with psychological realism. So I'm excited to read that. Hope it'll be good. I do already have this book, but I saw this cover and I think it was like $3 and something. So I, I had to get it. It's Wuthering, I can't even talk, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Uh, like I said, I do have this. I bought it from Goodwill, I think. But this is a gorgeous cover. And the one I have is a really ugly, ugly cover. But I just thought this was really, really nice. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. I think it does have some extras like discussion topics and that kind of thing in the back. For those of you who are interested in that. The next is The Musician's Daughter by Suzanne Dunlap, or Dunlap, depending on where you're from. The mystery of her father's death may lead to true love. So, her father's discovered dead and his violin is missing. So, I think that she goes and she tries to find out the mystery of it all. And the next two books. I don't know which one is which. Dream Hunter is the companion to Dream Quake. Okay, so this one has to be the first. Dream Quake. And I just know it's dream hunting. I don't really know what all that means. I know there's government issues with this. I don't know if this is like fantasy. I can't. I am so sorry, guys. I cannot talk today. If this is fantasy and dystopian or if this is just fantasy or what. Um, but it just has to do with dream hunting. The wealthy still experience sweet dreams, but the government has been using nightmares to keep convicts obedient and content. Ooh, this does, sounds really, really good. And the second one to that is Dream Hunter. Oh, I didn't tell you who it was by. Elizabeth Knox. I'm sure you saw on the cover, though. And so this is the companion book to that. All right. The next is used. And once again, I didn't realize it was going to be a library copy. And I hate how it looks. And I got to hurry up. I've been talking for way too long. This is Sailor Moon, the first one in the series. And it is stapled. Yeah. That's how bad it is. It is really used. It is in pretty bad condition, but oh well. And then I did get Peach Girl. It's the limited, limited collector's edition. It comes in a hardback uh, case. And it has the first four in it. And I don't know. Let's see if I can pull one out. I gotta hurry up. It's like soap opera pretty much and so I got this one too which it has two girls on it and it is five through eight and I think that's it so that was my little haul of course I have more books coming we all know that and um that's it so I'll see you guys later